Today's Daily Idea is brought to you by DailyHub.com. Hi, I'm Nikki Key, and you're watching The Daily Idea. You know, they don't call nine to five jobs a grind for nothing. Speaking of the grind, whatever happened to Eric Knees? Anyway, odds are you're among the more than 80% of Americans not working at their dream job. In fact, Daily Idea found an article from MSN.com published in February that's actually titled, Americans Hate Their Jobs More Than Ever. According to the article, and possibly Mick Jagger, satisfaction is at an all-time low. So okay, maybe you don't love your job, but you need the money, right? Daily Idea is here to help you start liking your job a little bit more. First, maintain at least a cordial relationship with everyone in your office and a friendly relationship with a few others. You probably spend more time with these people than you do with your spouse or children. Developing a few relationships at the office will help you get out of bed when you'd rather call in sick. Since most of us don't get to choose our coworkers, believe me, I didn't choose to work with this guy, you'll probably find a person or 20 you just don't like. Find something redeeming in everyone. You'll be surprised how much easier it is to get along even with your nemesis. Another job satisfier is having pride in your work. A job well done is a reward in itself even if you hate your job. Doing the best job you can will help you get noticed. That's when promotions and raises come. If you're stuck in a job you don't like, you might as well get paid more to stick around. You may even get promoted to a job you like better. Do a good job, but leave your work at work. The best part about a nine to five job is that after five, it's your time. Don't take work home with you. This includes checking emails, your Blackberry, or even thinking about your job while you're at home. If you can consistently turn off your work life when you turn out your office light, you'll find more energy in the morning to help you get through the day. Try to detach yourself from stress in the office. Lots of companies focus on sales targets and profits. A strict focus on the bottom line creates pressure in the workplace. Don't get caught up in the ups and downs of your company's financial performance. To break out of the constant cycle of pressure, take your lunch break away from work. It's good when you can get away from it all when you can. Look, no one's job is perfect, not even the people lucky enough to have their dream job. But a few minor adjustments in your attitude can improve your outlook at work. And we mean the human kind of outlook, not the Microsoft kind that keeps you chained to your desk. That's another daily idea. Are you looking for the newest and best business content on the web? DailyHub.com covers topics ranging from marketing and finance to sales and strategy. Visit DailyHub.com today. Thanks for watching another daily idea. Now don't just sit there, get involved. You can get each daily idea in your inbox, RSS reader, and iTunes. You can even follow us on Twitter. And since you seem nice, friend us on MySpace or Facebook. Just pick your favorite and we'll save you some time. Finally, we've had some great ideas come from viewers just like you. You can submit your ideas through our website at dailyidea.tv. Thanks again for watching.